Oh, hey, what's up? Haha, <laughs> sugar received. Ah, shit! Welcome to the Classic Game Room for the review of Superman on Atari 2600 from the 1970s. Is it better than Superman 64? Do I like pancakes? Of course it is. Let's find out how much better. Superman. I think a better question is, does Superman like pancakes? Of course he does. Who doesn't like pancakes? It's the Man of Steel! On your game system of wood, it's Superman on Atari 2600 from 1979. And this is one of the least intuitive games I've ever played. When I was a kid, I could never figure out how to play Superman. I always thought it looked cool, but could never figure the damn game out until until somebody invented the internet, I found a walkthrough, and now I actually know the game's objective. Superman has to build a bridge. Superman. He, he needs a bridge. Because he can't fly to work, he has to walk there over, over a bridge. At first, Superman seems like a collection of annoying sound effects with no real objective. You have to know what to do. Start the game by flying into the phone booth and changing into Clark Kent. Does anybody even know what a phone booth is anymore? Back in the day, there used to be these things called payphones. They smelled like urine and allowed you to change into your superhero costume in private. Now the annoying sound effect accompanied by the screen flashing and Superman disappearing is me using his x-ray vision to look at the screens around me. Because this is like a super duper old school adventure game. Where you have to find pieces of this bridge, arrest criminals, throw them in jail, and avoid kryptonite. All while still finding time to make out with Lois Lane. That's what that sound effect is. Hey, he is Superman after all. How do you transform back into Clark Kent? So I built the bridge, now what? He's freaking Superman. Shouldn't he be able to do anything? You have to arrest all of the criminals, Mark, and throw them in jail, which eventually fill up, and then get privatized and taken over by an enormous company that makes a future space jail, from which Christopher Lambert must escape, and that's the plot of Fortress 2. That has nothing at all to do with Superman. Except that Christopher Lambert is the Highlander. The Highlander was directed by the same man who directed Duran Duran's Hungry Like the Wolf and Rio. Duran Duran was formed in 1978, the same year that Superman the movie was released. You are now smarter, thanks to me. I think I've just arrested Lex Luthor. Yeah, there's this guy flying around with like a helicopter jetpack, and I thought that was the dude from Hero on the Atari 2600 and 5200, but no, it's, it's apparently Lex Luthor, so says the internet. This is a very interesting game. Does it hold up well in the future? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, what you're supposed to do is complete this whole process as quickly as possible, which you can see I am not doing a good job at. That sparkly thing that you saw there, that's kryptonite, and if Superman touches that, he can no longer fly, and then you have to find Lois Lane, who helps Superman get it up in the air, as in restore his power of flight. Mm-hmm. I'm disappointed that I can't arrest the helicopter. 
There's this helicopter flying around, but I don't know what purpose it serves other than making annoying sound effects. Now, after you've completed all this stuff, you change back into Clark Kent and victoriously walk across your damn bridge and make your way to work at the Daily Planet. And I believe you're supposed to do this as quickly as possible, which is why there's a timer on the top right of the screen. That's the game. That's Superman. You know what? I prefer Superman 2 the movie because it's awesome. Kneel before Zod! <laughs> I never get old. Yay, I'm at work. Look at what a great job I'm doing as a reporter. I just watched Superman build a bridge. Taking jobs from good contractors. Curse that Superman! I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you to send to Tim from Richmond, Kentucky. Thank you, Tim. There are those who call you Tim? So now I am back to being Clark Kent, as you can see by the hat. Because Clark Kent wears a stylish hat. I'm going to walk over here to this bridge. That's it. Superman versus Highlander. Who would win? Robocop. <laughs>